well, hello, Full Metal. After well over a year and a half of being away, I I was invited back by by the the great the great commissioners of this league to come participate in the tournament of dreams. Uh, and with my record intact, thank you once again. And I have a lot to prove because I'm still convinced in my head that if th- certain things hadn't gone a certain way, I could have won that tournament and I could have been your first champ. But now I have to go through everybody in this tournament to get my shot at Jeremy, a man that I respect more than anyone in this goddamn league. But I'll just say this to uh, t- to Ryan. Listen, man, you seem like a really cool guy. You seem like a real sex shooter if ever there was one. And I look forward to playing you. Jacoby, you seem like the kind of guy who gets lost in purple rain. And you also seem like the kind of guy that I want to go crazy with. So I'll just uh, close it out on this. When I win this match, it will be why doves cry. (laughs) And hello, Full Metal World. I am Ryan O'Regan from the great state of New Jersey, the birthplace of cinema that I always declare. And this is officially, finally, for the love of God, my premier match in Full Metal Trivia. And, of course, it has to be a triple threat match. And, of course, it has to be against guys who I've seen do singles matches before. So, you know, I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous at all. Not one bit. No, no, not one bit. I am completely fine. I am completely fine. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, uh. That said, uh, I've been doing my studying. Lord knows I can't watch all the movies because I am not that at, uh, well to do to be paying Amazon Prime all those rental fees. But I'm doing my best. I'm coming in here hot, nervous, much like you know any true virgin would. Hopefully, I don't disappoint. And uh, just one quick point, uh, Jacoby. You say I sound like a comic book character. Don't you know that we're invading the cinemas nowadays? We're coming in heated, man. You don't want to get in our way. Plus, the only person that sounds like a made-up name is that Michael Cena that you pulled a few weeks ago, I remember you doing. So uh, let's not talk which. Uh, As for Chris, feel better. Oh, yeah. Great. Great. Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm starting out with. Uh, doing some some promos, cutting promos, because up against this match, because it's me versus Chris Doman versus Ryan O'Regan. Ryan O'Regan, I'm still not convinced he's a real person because that name just sounds straight out of a comic book. So I, I guess I, I don't have to count him very much. Christopher Doman, he's always been around, I guess. He's played matches. That's what you did. Yeah, past matches. He's done good in those matches. He's done bad in those matches. Uh, what else is to say about him? Anyway, it doesn't matter. But I'm here to play in this match, and I'm going to win a lot and get a lot of points. I'm confident. This is a more confident Jacoby who's convinced that he is going to make a stellar debut and score points. So let's do it, guys. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of Full Metal Singles Tournament Edition. That's right, we are almost done the first round of the rookie side of the Tournament of Dreams. This is fantastic. We are almost done and cannot wait to get on to the next round because we have had some amazing matches, some amazing players, and it is going to be, I'm telling you, one of the most interesting things that we ever ever have seen because so many good players have come out of it so far, and we have yet to do the veteran side, the clash of different ideologies is going to happen but enough from me i have somebody here who i love to have here he's my best friend he's jeremy the adam adams our current singles champion how you doing jeremy i'm great i'm excited to be here yeah it's it. everything going on with the tournament's very exciting but i don't think there's anything more that exciting than this particular match in uh, particularly because we have three great players that have been in this league for a while um it's amazing too these guys are debuting in singles because we've known these guys for a long time and and they're awesome and they're all great players um we have somebody who you know goes is an important force going all the way back to the beginning returning as he said in his promo after a year and a half, and I'm just really excited to see um, 
you know, the, any any match, like you said, can go any way based on the questions. So it'll be exciting to see. But one way or the other, I think we're going to see some awesome play. And, yeah, uh, going from this match, it's one of the last ones in round one. Uh, seeing who wins here tonight and goes into that tournament is definitely going to uh, put some fire into that thing. So I, I can't wait to see how everything lines up. You're absolutely right. I mean, the three players that we have here, two of them are making their debuts, and one is a returning player. But it doesn't matter. The tournament is so far has shown that anybody can win this thing on any given night. So I am excited to see, like you, I'm excited to see the return uh, of, of one of our players and see what he's capable of. Uh, he was dominant before. Um, I, we'll see if he's still dominant now. Uh, and our two returning, or our two debuting players, I mean, it's going to be fantastic to watch them do this. But how about we get some truthful introductions underway? Let's do it. All right. Introducing first, with a record of two wins, zero losses, with one TKO. He has a strength of horror movies. He is the returning Chris Skywalker Doman. And our first debuting player and his first opponent with a record of 0-0. He has a strength of Jim Carrey movies. It is the real ordeal, Ryan O'Regan. And last but certainly not least, the third and final player debuting today with a record of O and O. He comes in with a strength of romantic comedies. We're talking about Jacoby Barbarian Bancroft. All right, guys, that is it for the introductions. We are going to get into the rules of round number one. They are pretty simple, but nobody does it better than Jared. Hit him with those rules, buddy. All right, round one, it is simple. Every competitor gets eight questions from eight different categories. For each question, they have 15 seconds to write the answer down. After time is done, they will show and say their answer. A correct answer is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. If someone gets all eight correct, they get a bonus question. And during the match, the competitors will get three repeats and one challenge to use at will. You're ready. Let's get ready to play. All right, guys. Good luck tonight. Your first question is going to come in a category very dear to my heart, directors. Who directed the films The War of the Roses, Duplex, and Hoffa? That is a great question. Yeah, a little, little deeper one to start there, but uh, maybe these guys can pull it out. It's a heck of a varied uh, resume there, that's for sure. It very much is. And we're going to go in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to Chris first. Chris. I know it's, I know it's wrong. I said Kenneth Branagh. And Jacoby. Uh, Danny DeVito. And Ryan. Ah, uh, damn poet. Jacoby, Jacoby got it. He's Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Start in wow. Interesting three. match already. Yep. All mm. right, guys. Question number two is for me. Damn it. <laughs> it's in the category of one of my favorite categories, horror slash thriller. Oh, it's by far my favorite movie <laughs> of franchise of all time. <laughs> How many films in the Exorcist franchise have starred Stellan Skarsgård? Hear me. <laughs> All right. I I I I am a fan of something involved here. That's all I'll say. Just to just to pick up for the the hater at, at my side. <laughs> Four, three, two, Come and in, Father and one. Let's go to Jacoby. Two. And Ryan. I said one. And Chris. Two. 
two, two is, is the correct. correct answer. Yeah, one one had been sitting on the shelf, but then it did get released. So that's technically two at this point. The two versions of the prequel. Good for All right, show. guys. Your third question is going to come in uh, the category of non-U.S. films. And it is, what French film was recently remade as the Kevin Hart, Brian Cranston vehicle, The Upside? Oh, you need the French ones? Yep. <laughs> It's a terrific. It's a terrific movie, by the way. You gotta know these once in a while. I have, I have the upside. I have yet to see it yet. I'm looking forward. No, I, I, I haven't seen it, but the, I've seen the original. It's very good. I'm that, I'm that kind of snob. You know that. Right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens and pencils down, Ryan. Uh, I need to have at least some answers here, so I just went ahead and said, let cripple. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, Chris. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and Jacoby. We're on the same wavelength. Let upside. <laughs> yes. The answer is uh, not to be confused with a certain Kevin Costner movie, it's The Intouchables. The Intouchables is the original film. Late, and, late. and I think maybe some of the, uh, the certain people on the internet are going to be coming after Ryan now. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we won't dwell on that. It's about fun. <laughs> All right. Good. Drive more views. There we go. All right, guys. Your, set, your fourth question, I'm losing my mind, uh, is in the category of sci-fi fantasy. Which Academy Award winner plays Mr. Meacham in 2016's Pete's Dragon? I'm going to go out on a wild limb and say you haven't seen this one, Sandy. Uh, it's on my list to watch. I yeah. have about six that I really want to watch, and I've been fortunate that I found Actually, found this was one of the first movies I saw with my with my now wife and stepson. So it, uh, it's Repeat a very good movie. And, oh. Okay. First for Chris. All right. Uh, all right. In sci-fi fantasy, which Academy Award winner plays Mr. Meacham in 2016's Pete's Drag? Yeah, this one holds a special place in my heart. It's a good movie. Oh, I'm such a fan of the original. Yeah. It's different. So, different, but yeah. Ends are up, but I still got a few seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to start right back over to Skywalker. I'm going to hit with all the wrong questions tonight. Sam Rockwell. And Jacoby. Robert Redford. And Ryan. Robert Redford. Robert Redford is, is correct. correct. It might he won for directing, not acting. That might be something that can throw you off if you're thinking Oscar winners. But yes, it was Robert Redford. And your next question is going to come in the category of recent releases. In The Favorite, what type of bird do we see racing for the entertainment of the guests inside the palace? This is such a good movie. I it, yeah, I really Yeah, movie. is it? I'm glad you liked it. It's it's a it's a strange film, but it's really good. I'm glad you strange did. but good. Yeah. <laughs> and this scene is hilarious. Yeah, Five, that's good. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna start with Jacoby. Ostrich. And Ryan. I said peacock. And Chris. Crap, I also said peacock. Ooh, Sorry, guys. What we were looking for was a duck. You went a little oh. too exotic on that, guys. Just a regular old duck. I think an ostrich is a type of duck, I think, in, in like, in bird. <laughs> sure. No, it's not. It's not. Sure, it's not. Jacob. Nice it's like, track. It's like in Twins, <laughs> Danny DeVito and... <laughs> <laughs> All right, now question number six is in the category of comedies. Who portrays Kelly Leak in the 1976's The Bad News Bears? I wasn't going to do any of that dumb laughing every time we have a comedy category. 
I think we're past that. Mark Ellis's thing. I'll still scream movie release dates if that comes up, though. And in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to start with Ryan. It was more of a guess, if anything, but I went Jodie Foster. And Chris. Jodie Foster. And Jacoby. I must have been way off that of my guy. I said Burt Reynolds. So, unfortunately, you guys <laughs> you, all three you, of you oh, are wrong. Oh, you were asking for the boy, the controller maker, Jackie yes. Earl Haley. Damn it. Yes. Jack Kelly Earl. Leak's actually a male character. It is Jackie Earl Haley. Yes. Oh, purple. You Unisex sex name there. All right, guys. Your penultimate question. I feel like we're getting a little more in the mainstream here. And it's in the category of animation. What film features the voice talents of Bruce Willis... Steve Carell, Allison Janney, and Avril Lavigne. No, not a not an Avril fan. Huh? Sure. Oh, that's a shame. She's right. from Canada too. I know. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to start right back over with Chris. Over the Hedge. And Jacoby. I love this movie, Over the Hedge. And Ryan. Three for three, Over the Hedge. Three correct. There you go. That's what we like to see. For the match. Nice. Yay. All right, guys. Your final question in this round is one of my favorites. It is in the category of plot summary. Name the following movie. To avoid a potential explosive scandal when the U.S. president goes into a coma, an affable temp agency off owner oh, no. with an uncanny resemblance is put in his place. I went with a British accent that time. Thanks. I think this is one of the most underrated movies of all time. You and me lo- both. Love this one. Nobody in this movie gets enough credit for it. Yeah. Nope. Five, four, three, two, one. Jacoby. Dave. Ryan. I too said Dave. And Chris. Dave. Another, Another sweep. Good there job, we go. guys. So, uh, my second favorite Sigourney Weaver uh, performance. So. Yeah. All right, everybody, we are back, and man, do we have a game on our hands. Jacoby coming out of nowhere and leading this pack with five big points, but right on their heels, it's the real ordeal, and Skywalker, Chris Doman here with three points each as we go into round number two. Jeremy, after you, my sir. All right, round two works like this, guys. The competitor in the lead chooses whether they want to go first, second, or third. The player in second chooses when to go during their turn after that. Whoever goes first bets on red, black, or white. The player in second immediately chooses their color, and the player in third will take the remaining color. Then the player will spin the wheel. If they land on their color, they choose their category. If they land on an opponent's color, that opponent chooses their category. If the player lands on a named category, they can take that category or spin again. They are then forced to take what they spin the second time. Each category has four questions worth two points each. A player can go to multiple choice, which will knock each question to one point. If a player misses a question, the two opponents get a five second count to steal the answer. They must write down a show and say their answer. And then uh, before we go to the person in the lead, I'll go ahead and read off what the categories are gonna be on the wheel tonight. They are Andrew Garfield movies, IMDB, heist movies, drama, Guard My Body, those, as you might suspect, are bodyguard movies. Oscars, the movies formerly in our Deep Cuts uh, round three from last season. Spike Lee joints, baseball movies, and then the strength categories, which are horror for Chris, 2000s rom-coms for Jacoby, and Jim Carrey for Ryan. Can I ask a question about one of those categories? Just because for the uh, IMDb round in round two, what's... 
what's given it for round yeah basically we'll list. get we'll give you some information from imdb it could be an actor could depending be an actor, on the director okay. it's, it's, it's different it okay. yeah yeah got it'll it. be very for every question and then you'll just have to answer and you can go to multiple got it all right um all right so jacoby you are in the lead you can choose to go first or you can choose to pick where you'd like to go um oh uh, god what's the i don't know the smart thing to do i think uh i want to go third all right all right so that brings it over to for the sake of ties chris you now can choose to go first or second second okay all right so so ryan you're going first so you get to choose uh red white or black for your cup uh i feel like i got served up like a smoked pig all right <laughs> um uh well like they always say uh, bet on black. We'll go with black. All right. So, uh, Chris, would you like white or red? I will take white. All right. I want red. Is that still open? <laughs> it is still open. You got yeah, it, buddy. Good. All right. So All right. We're ready. We'll go to Ryan. I've got the wheel up here today. So, all right. We're going to go ahead and spin this thing for you. Got a bit of a reflection, but we'll try to get it as visible as we can. All right. And here we go, Ryan. Real morality, turn, 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 Round and around and around. And right on the edge go, there, right go. on the edge, and we are landing on heist movies. Would you like to take heist movies or spin again? I mean, I will spin again. Uh, All right. right. That's good, because heist movies is just right for steals. <laughs> All, right. Right. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> And we are off. Oh, man. There it is. Whatever it lands it's on. It's been harder this time because I was so close. Oh. And then, then it guard my body. Oh, is it going? Oh. Yeah, it is going to be. Guard my body. Guard my body. So bodyguard movies. All right. Okay. You want yeah. me to take no You way. want me to take it, Sandy? Uh, no, I can do this one if you want. You got oh, it. Okay, All right. No, perfect. You go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. All right, Ryan, your first question in the bodyguard category is name of the 80s film in which the new kid in school gets harassed by bullies, so he decides to hire the school's most feared kid to be his bodyguard. Oh, I feel like I've seen this, but... Ah, uh, the name escapes me, so I'll go multiple choice. All right, is it A, Three O'Clock High, B, Rumblefish, C, My Bodyguard, or D, Bully Beware? Oh, <sighs> uh, my, my, but the one I was going to choose is up there, but now there's another option. Five, uh, four, three. I'm gonna go with gut instinct, and three. I'll say a three o'clock high. That is incorrect. So the options again are a three o'clock high, b rumblefish, c my bodyguard, or d bully beware. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Chris. I said d. And Jacoby. I also said D. Both Sorry, it's actually incorrect. my bodyguard, which Dang it. is another one of the mo- one. one of the most uh, another one of the most underrated movies ever, in my opinion. It's a really good movie, but you know, deep eighties. What are you gonna do? All right, second question: Who played Whitney Houston's bodyguard in the film The Bodyguard? Oh, thank God, Kevin Costner. Two for points. two points. Question number three. In what film? In what film did Nicolas Cage play a Secret Service agent protecting Shirley MacLaine? Ooh, oh, I'm okay. Um, I'm, 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 I'm seeing parts of the movie. I'm seeing the poster, but the name is escaping me. So I'll go multiple. All right. Is it A. The Trust? B. Guarding Tess? C, serving Sarah, or D, waiting for the light? B, guarding Tess. That is correct for one point. And your final question. Who played a Secret Service agent 
who will stop at nothing to bring down the counterfeiter who killed his partner in the film To Live and Die in L.A. Uh, multiple choice. All right. Is it A, Willem Dafoe, B, Roy Scheider, C, Fred Ward, or D, William Peterson? <laughs> oh, shoot me now. Um, five, four, three, two, I'm going to go one. C. <laughs> All right, that is incorrect. So again, it's A, Willem Dafoe, B, Roy Scheider, C, Fred Ward, or D, William Peterson. Five, Five four, three, two, one. Jacoby. A, Willem Dafoe. And Chris. it is D, William Peterson. That is correct. One Willem Dafoe two. is actually the bad guy in that movie. Though, I so knew he was not, not that far off. Did not even uh, know that movie existed. <laughs> all right, you know what, Jeremy? He actually made his good way 80s through movie. that. He may have yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Three yeah. points out of a possible eight, but you know, he went to multiple choice. He didn't get to leave a couple of steals, you know, on there. He did get the one at the end, but um, you know, it's not uh, it's not out of the realm of possibility yet. Lots of game left, and we're gonna go right. right over to Chris Mr. Doman. Doman. All right. Got the wheel up for you, Chris. Obviously, Guard My Body movies are not going to be on this time. Everything else is, so we will spin. Yes, you're welcome, Chris. Wheel of morality, yeah. turn, turn, turn. Tell us a lesson that we should learn. Uh-oh. Mm, Uh-oh. Going just past Uh-oh. black, I think. Oh, look at that. Oof. Into and again, land, <laughs> lands on heist movies, and we Everyone are heist. re-spinning. Yeah. Why do you keep teasing bunch, me with this, Jeremy? Bunch of up, up, right citizens don't like heists. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Oh. Just Baseball stopped on baseball movies, movies, and I will let you read that, Sandy. I will. All right, Chris, are you ready for your turn at the wheel of baseball movies? Let's go. All right. Question number one In The Trouble with the Curve, who plays Gus Lobel's daughter, Mickey? Multiple choice. Okay. Your multiple choice options are A. Allison Eastwood. B. Amy Adams. C. Anna Kendrick. Or D. Isla Fisher. Amy Adams. Correct for one point. Should have just gone for the, the, the two. I saw it. Mm. I saw it turn in there. All right, question number two. In Million Dollar Arm, sports agent J.B. Bernstein discovers two cricket players in India who, by the end of the film, are offered contracts with which Major League Baseball team? Oh, son of a... Multiple choice. Right. Your multiple choice options are A, the New York Yankees, B, the Pittsburgh Pirates, C, the Cleveland Indians, or D, the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Pittsburgh. Another one point. Working his way <clears throat> through it just like a vet. All right. In question number three. In the natural, Hobbs makes a baseball bat from the from a tree that was struck by lightning. <clears throat> what does he name the bat? Multiple choice. <laughs> Your multiple choice options are A. Thunderstruck B. The Natural C. Zeus or D. Wonder Boy Zeus? That is incorrect. Mm. Chance for a steal. Your options are A. Thunderstruck, B, The Natural, C, Zeus, or D, Wonder Boy. Ryan. I went D, Wonder Boy. And Jacoby. I went Thunderstruck, A. Ryan gets the steal. Gets the steal. Big, big point for Ryan there. 
All Respect. right. And your final question in this category, Chris, is in Hardball, why does the character played by Keanu Reeves become the coach of a fifth grade baseball team? Oh, crap. Oh, it's something to do with community service. Oh. I'm going to hate myself as soon as I hear it. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, to earn money for playing for paying gambling debts. B, to hit on one of the player's single mothers. C, it is court-mandated community service. D, his son is on the team. Oh. Repeat the options one more time, please, if you could. You got it? Yep. A, to earn money for paying gambling debts. B, to hit on one of the player's single mothers. C, it is court-mandated community service. Or D, his son is on the team. A. For one point. Pulls it out. Look at that. Just like what we were saying for Ryan, Chris, is like a veteran, absolutely worked his way through that. Missed only one question, gave up one single point, but worked his way through on multiple choice to get himself in a pretty decent position. As we go into Jacoby's turn, Jacoby, third is the charm. It is your oh, turn. Gosh. Let's get ready. I was stressful. Why did I wait till third? Oh my yeah, gosh. I was so into that. I, for, I almost forgot to pull the wheel yeah. off, but yes. You're <laughs> up, Jacoby, and baseball and bodyguards are off. So everything. You think it's good. gonna be heist first off? I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> Let me let me see Wait. which way to usually spin. I'll spin the other way. We'll spin this way. Uh, you tease me with the black again, I swear. No, definitely okay. not teasing you with the black, but we're going toward white. But we're not going to get there. Ooh, and we have landed cuts. on the former Deep Cuts movies. So it depends so on how much you were studying those movies last season for your, for matches, I guess. Former Deep Cuts. And those are supposed to be Deep Cuts, and Deep Cuts are supposed to be Deep Cut questions. So... <laughs> Let's spin again. That's too broad right. category. And please, please don't bite me in that butt. Heist movies. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is Ocean's Eleven three times. Oh, it's going toward oh, red. Oh, oh. oh it's it me, stop? right? Oh, is it going to oh, stay? Oh, oh, it just passed oh. it to Andrew, Andrew Garfield. Garfield. So I will read Jacoby's Andrew Garfield questions. All right. Your first question in Andrew Garfield. Jacoby is. Mm -hmm. What U.S. state is Desmond Dawes from in the World War II film Hacksaw Ridge? Um, I need multiple choice. All right. Is it A, Virginia, B, Kentucky, C, Mississippi, or D, Alabama? Yeah. Certain part of the country. Mississippi. That is incorrect. So the options again are A, Virginia, B, Kentucky, C, Mississippi, or D, Alabama. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Chris first. I said A. And Ryan. I too said A. And You're both, both correct. One point, steal. one point steal for both All players. Right. All right. To catch up to Aunt Jacoby. All right. Your second question, Jacoby. Uh, hold on. He's frozen for me. Oh. Is he frozen for anyone else? Yes. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> All right, Jacoby. Your second question. What disease does Garfield's character Robin Cavendish have in the film Breathe? Mm. Somebody almost knows it. Oh, yeah. Multiple choice. All right. Is it A, leprosy, B, Down syndrome, C, Parkinson's, or D, polio? Polio? That is correct for one yeah, point. point. 
sandwich. All right, your third question. I lost Chris. Is Chris still on this call? There he is. Yeah, he's there. All right, your third question. What happens to Andrew's character at the beginning of the film, 99 Homes? Uh, his, oh, I'm afraid I'm going to get the wording wrong on this, but uh, what ha- his house is foreclosed on. We're going to take that. Yeah, I think we can take that. Uh, yeah. We're looking for evicted, but he's evicted because they foreclose on the house because yeah. right. of the yep. mortgage. So Two we can be points. leaning on that. Two All right. Big points. Thank you, Michael Shannon, for being in that movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Your final question, Jacoby. Definitely the best movie here. No, not noticing. In The Amazing Spider-Man, which of his father's belongings does Peter find in the basement? Which of his father's belongings? Uh, it's like a, it's like a briefcase. For two points. Two points. Exactly what we were looking for that time. I was thinking briefcase. I was like, oh no, is briefcase the square actual like official one? Is there, like, <laughs> you need satchels? Like, what the heck? No. All right, guys, after a quick score count after round two, we still have Jacoby in the lead. 11 points, and no surprise to us, Ryan and Chris are still tied, but at eight points apiece. There's only three points separating everybody in this game. It is still up to anybody's, but we are rolling into the player's pick round. Is that what we're calling it, Jeremy? The player, the player's pick? Player's choice. Player's yeah. choice, that's right. Same difference. You tell them the rules, and we can ask them the questions. All right, guys. So the round, the round three rules go as such. There will be three questions worth two, three, and five points each. Each question will come from a different movie. There is no multiple choice available, but also no stealing from the rival players. A wheel will be spun to determine the movie for each que- the, for each question. Players will have the option to respin only one time in round three, so choose wisely. If a movie is spun a second time for the same point value by a different player, it will be a technical respin. The player uh, behind will start answering questions first. Once that player ties or moves ahead of the other players, uh, they'll get their first question. Each player will go back and forth answering the questions from their given movie until there are TKOs or until two players are mathematically eliminated. All right. So. And uh, yeah, the players already know, but for those at home, I'll just let you know the movies that are on the wheel tonight are The Elephant Man, Almost Famous, My Cousin Vinny, The Social Network, The Dark Knight, Unforgiven, the greatest film of all time, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You will not believe the amount of crap I took from him that I hadn't watched it in a couple of years. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys, that is it. So as per our rules at the beginning, uh, we had a tiebreaker. Chris is currently the number one favorite out of Ryan and, uh, and Chris. So Ryan, you are going to start first and then if you hit your second we will go over to chris until we tie or not so all right so i have the eight movies on a wheel we're gonna spin it for your for your two point question again you do have a respin but you can only use it once for the entire round so here we go and the spin is away Isn't the Dark Knight just look bigger? Oh, 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 oh. look at that. <laughs> Excellent. My Cousin Vinny. Would you oh, like to hey. take My Cousin Vinny for the two? As somebody who's from New Jersey. Uh, I will have to, even though technically they're New Yorkers, but still. All right. Uh-oh, he knows the movie. Yep. You want to take this one, Sandy, or? Sure. All right. All right, and My Cousin Vinny. Your two-point question, Ryan, is what is the name of the character played by Mitchell Whitfield? We will take just the first name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mitchell Whitfield. Mitchell Whitfield. Um, Is that... Five. Four... Three. John? Oh, I'm Unfortunately sorry. Looking looking that. for Stan. Stan! Stan. Ah. Yeah. Stan, Stan or Rosen- Rosen- Rosenstein. Rosenstein. <laughs> All, All right, right. So, so we, 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 we... Yeah, we stay with 
we stay with uh, do we stay with him or do you go to the dome and i always get messed up on this <laughs> it's a three-pointer so yeah okay look we'll go to chris and see where yeah. we, then we can go since they're the still tied yeah okay we'll do yeah. that then all right, Chris. So for your two-pointer, my cousin Vinny is off the wheel, but the other seven films are still there. And right. your spin is in. Wow. Ooh, we're past the Dark Knight, and we are going to land on... Looks like... oh. Pee-wee's Big Adventure. I, I think I would want to read this question. one. <laughs> 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 All right. Your two-point question in Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Chris. What is the name of Pee-wee's friend played by Elizabeth Daly? It's not the name I was hoping you were going to ask me. <sighs> Actually, hold on. You never gave me the option to possibly respin, but I fine. did. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, but screw it. Too late. <laughs> um, five, four, three. Sandy. Mm, sorry, it wasn't very far off, but yeah, we're looking for Dottie. His oh, true Dottie. love. Dottie, yes. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen it. Yeah. All right. So now I think we go back to Ryan. We do go back to Ryan. His yeah. three. His three now. All right. So the now they're all they're all the on. Time. So any any of the movies are uh, are eligible for your three, right? Okay. This is so foreign to me. And everybody still has the respin. I'm saying it now. <laughs> all right. So that is going to be in Spider-Man Spider into the Spider-Verse. Would you like to take that or respin? I'll take it. All right. I guess uh, I'll let you keep reading for Ryan there, Sandy. I feel like right. it's up your alley. <laughs> uh, there it is. All right. So we are on the three-point question. That's three Ryan, point. are you ready? Yes. Fill in the blank from the following quote. We don't pick the blank. We just dance looking for one word ballroom for three points yeah. Thank so you. we so we go back to chris we go back to chris mm -hmm. yeah. all right okay chris uh so spider verse is going to be off but all the other movies are on and there we go yeah went far that time um and what is that? I can't see it. Social it network. is the social network. Would you like to take a respin? How confident are you on the social network? Oh, what the hell? Let's just let's go for it. <laughs> All right. I will proctor his three pointer in the social network. And it is. Finish this line spoken by Eduardo. I like standing next to you, Sean. It makes me look so blank. Just one word. Tall? Close, but unfortunately we're looking for tough. You had they had the T word, the but it was right, tough. The scene right at the end of it when he jumps up mm. and does this and flinches. So and good. Like, yeah. yeah. Ah, that was tough. Yeah, that was tough. That was a tough question. All right. So uh, do we stick? We stick with question we have uh, to stick. We have yeah, to stick with, with Chris, Chris for the five. All right. So the lead. Yeah. you do have your respin, Chris, but all the movies are on because it is the five pointer. And we'll go the other way. We'll do another very good spin there. Ooh, don't know if it's going to stay on the Dark Knight. I think it's it is going to stay on the Dark gonna... Knight. There it is. All yes. Right. All right, yes. Chris is going to take the Dark Knight. Okay. All right. Your five-point question, Chris. How is Gordon able to determine that the Joker is targeting Commissioner Loeb, Harvey Dent, and, D and Judge Cirillo? Give you 
five. Repeat the question. All right. Second one. How is Gordon able to determine that the Joker is targeting Commissioner Loeb, Harvey Dent, and Judge Cirillo? question all right your last one how is gordon able to determine that the joker is targeting commissioner Loeb, harvey dent and judge cirillo Nope. One. Oh. oh man, I'm so sorry, Chris. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, GTA unfortunately it is match on the Joker playing card. The jo- Joker's playing player card had their DNA on it. That's they they, they tested the card. I'm and so sorry, Chris. So with that, unfortunately, he is eliminated, eliminated. But was still a you know a good record in this league. Well, we'll see him back soon. But That's with that, league. we do have to go to Ryan, I believe now. Yeah, uh, it's five points. Or what's yeah? So it's, what is the score right? Um, so no, it's that's no, no Ryan. Ryan's tied. He with tied Jacobi it right now. So it'll all right. Be so we'll go to Jacoby for his two pointer actually. Okay. All right. Your break. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's all right. Off? What what can't all right. I so, for uh, the two pointers? Can't. It's my cousin Vinny and Pee Wee's and Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Off. Got it. Okay. All right. And we're going. Oh. Um, looks like a technical respin. Yep. All right. We've got to keep this thing going as long as possible, apparently. <laughs> be still, my heart. <laughs> oh, is it going to be this it's one or the net? It's going to be this one. It is going to be almost famous. Yeah, I'll take that. All, All right. right. Want me to read them? Uh, sure. All right. Actually, you're keeping score and everything. I can do it. Yeah, sure. Do that. All right. I got it. All right. Two points, yeah. Your first question and almost famous. Uh, Who plays William's sister, Anita? Uh, Zoe Deschanel. That is correct. (laughs) I could feel some pain (laughs) on that one for sure. So that means we're going to move back. So we do go to Ryan. So now Ryan has to get his five pointer. If he does that, then we still have a match. So the only one that's going to be off is the Dark Knight. So you have the other remaining options, Ryan. And oh, and here we go. You do still have that reason. Oh, what's it gonna land on? Heist movies. <laughs> <laughs> almost famous. All right, almost famous again. Let's respin it. All right. And we are going. God help us if it Going lands on right an open toward man. it again. Yeah. Are Going you right, kidding? right to it again. I'm sorry, my friend. All right. <laughs> so I'll it is going to be almost famous. With Final this league question. And almost famous. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right, here we go. Here it is. Your five point question to move into the lead and force Jacoby to answer some more questions. Your five point question in almost famous is: In what month? Do the Millers celebrate Christmas? <laughs> one, in, one in 12 chance here. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I know I can give a feasible answer, but oh, Christ. Uh, of course, it would be the one movie that I haven't seen. Uh, let me think. Five, four. Repeat three. the question. That is your first. In what month do the Millers celebrate Christmas? Five, four, three, two. Question. Second. 
In what month do the Millers celebrate Christmas? Do I have one more left? Mm -hmm. Ten, five, four, three, two, repeat. one. Last repeat. In what month do the Millers celebrate Christmas? There is nothing that is coming to me. I, I got to go with the only logical one. God help me. Five. January. And your winner! The Barbarian, Jacoby Bancroft! The answer we were looking for was, of course, September. September! <laughs> oh, what a good family. Make, makes sense in the movie. She, uh... <laughs> she she picks the most non-commercial time of the year that she can. <laughs> oh. Okay, that is. Well, you know what? I, I... Wow, that was a heck of a match. It that a that kept us guessing the whole time. It went any number of ways, and uh, definitely didn't give the the uh, most obvious result, but. Uh, you know, like we said at the beginning, any one of these guys could have won. They're all good players, and they all played a great game and kept it really close. So, I, I yeah, I'm, I think we're all feeling a little tired and worn out here, but uh, let's see what these guys have to say. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go over to our third-place finisher right now, Chris, because Chris came into this match, and I want to give it up to him first off. He's sick, he's tired, and yet it's Eastern time where he is, and he's still up playing trivia. Let's give this guy a hand just for showing and up. Playing there, great, and the playing way. great, by the way. <laughs> Nothing, so, you know, and Chris, like I said, still a great record. And yeah. yeah, absolutely. Chris, I mean, I know it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to today. Uh, what are your overall thoughts and what are you looking forward to next? Good God, I got to watch, watch The Dark Knight again. And Pee Big Adventure. And The Social <laughs> Network. And, you know, if these are what's going to gonna be the deep cut movies for the rest of the season and into next season then study and <laughs> study hard because so, something i've noticed in my time being gone uh the questions have been getting a little more difficult you guys have actually been cracking down on making the questions a tad bit more difficult and i i kind of forgot that when um when it, well because you know when, when you're in so many different leagues like Warzone, face off <laughs> Uh, fandom, yeah. like you have, you have so many different uh, difficulty curves. Sometimes you forget about, you know, uh, some of the places where you started up from. And yeah, I kind of forgot that uh, here in Full Metal, the the questions are a little bit tougher. So that that's on me. And so obviously, uh, I never want to have this embarrassing of a performance again. And look, sickness aside, I know I could have done better. You know, there's no reason that I couldn't have scored like a 15 point match because, you know, that's kind of my average in all the other leagues. So it's like, well, this is this is kind of a kind of embarrassing, kind of a, a fun little wake up call. And I think uh, a, a two to one record is a good record to come back in the league and really start kicking some ass. And uh, whoever you guys got next for me, th this is not going to happen again. Yeah, the, the, I believe the, that. The old Skywalker is coming back. Well, it's great. It's on behalf of me, and I know on behalf of Jeremy and the rest of Full Metal, we are happy to have you back. It's the, one of the absolute godfathers of this entire genre that we call the, the fan base trivia community. Yes. Uh, we're happy to have you back. And even though it didn't turn out your way today, today it was just a pleasure being back on screen with you. So, awesome. and and I have to say real quick, there was a, there was a time. In this league, when my record was uh, one and two, so and and you know, kind of got to be the champion eventually. So <laughs> you know that you know this doesn't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things, and we know you're going to come back fighting, Chris. So. Absolutely, we're happy to have you. And now we're going to move on to our second place finisher. Put up a valiant effort at the end there. Just got stuck on that almost famous question, like anybody would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan, the real ordeal, Regan, uh, you finished second with 11 points. How do you think about yourself overall, and what are you looking about, uh, looking forward to next? Well, 
First note. <laughs> Second note. Almost famous can suck it. There's only one thing that's almost famous, and that's me. All right. <laughs> Do this acting and for nothing. Third. I mean, what can I really say about like a rookie performance? You know, that this is my first time really going into the foray of this. Uh, I'm no stranger to second place, at least in the classics, and. You know, having to be in this format, having the the triple threat as opposed to just a head-to-head match, it's it was it was all foreign to me. And I'd say I did decent. Could I always do better? Absolutely. Could I have done worse? Hell yes. But I'm 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 happy to at least say that I got to the point that I did. It wasn't like a a TKO or a KO or anything like that that I would have had in maybe some other matches in my past. So I'm I'm at least confident in knowing that. If this is the starting point, I can only go up from here unless I keep drinking that stuff, and then I don't know where I'm going. But I, I, I'm happy about it, you know? Yeah, okay, I didn't win in my first tournament, in my first match in this whole new league. Eh, I mean, would it have been great if I did? Yeah, but then I'd probably be even more nervous, and then you'd see me with, like, a whole big jack bottle of the next match, and, you know, who knows how much <laughs> I'm going through on that one. But... I, I, as for the competitors, uh, Chris being the rookie slash veteran in this uh, trifecta, uh, I, I feel for you because obviously I, I have to believe that you know if you were at 100 percent health, you probably would have like greased both of us. I, I want to believe that because I've seen your matches and I've seen what kind of competitor you are. You are like laser focused, like your lightsaber. So uh here's hoping that you go up and further from here uh as you continue and of course welcome back as for jacoby uh, what can i say about jacoby that hasn't already been written on bathroom stalls um (laughs) you know as much as he jokes around and as funny as he is uh he aced that andrew garfield stuff so i can't be mad at him this is a guy who can joke around and you know, he knows when to play. He knows when to fight. So I give him all the credit in the world for this match. I would have liked to have seen how he did on the three and the five pointer, but we'll just have to wait till the next match to see that one. Awesome. Well, like I said, everybody here played great. You, you, you know, you did your best to come back in that uh, in in that round three. Came a little short, but we are really happy to have you have you in the singles league now. So. Uh, like you said, onwards and upwards. I can't, can't get any lower than right now. So um, the future is bright, my friend. With that, we are going to go over to our winner today, a 1-0 and o competitor. And moving on in the Tournament of Dreams, Jacoby the Barbarian Bancroft. My friend, how do you feel? Oh, my God. What? It was... That was intense. That was an insane match. It was it was so close up till the very end. From from the very beginning, it was a fight. These guys are are definite fighters from start to from start to finish. They know their stuff. They're killers. Um, I got lucky with some of the stuff because it spun, went my way with the with the stuff I knew. Um, it's I but you know I do joke around and I do and I you know and I do try to mess with things a little bit here and there and stuff, but. Uh, I was taking this match really seriously. Like, I, I was studying hardcore for those round three deep cut, cut questions because I wanted to prove that I could do well in this league. That I'm more than just uh, a jokester who inserts a funny, hopefully funny comments every now and then. But so this was this is a big big win for me, um, and I'm and I'm very happy to be moving on. And I again I thank my competitors for putting on just a hell of a match because that was that had me sweating. I am just a damp sticky mess from like just from like top to bottom so it was it was a lot of fun but all the kudos to to my two guys and ryan o'regan said such nice little things about me i will say he is no longer a made-up person he is a real person and and he, he's gonna come and chris doman once he gets better he's gonna he's gonna go on a tear and he's gonna go on a run and he's gonna do great things uh yeah all right yeah, yeah. you're moving you're moving on to the round two of the tournament you're going to be facing one person, not two in these ones. You're into single competition now. Okay. If there's And you've read that list of the people who were playing in the tournament. Is there anybody you might be specifically oh. looking forward to pay, playing? Or... Oh, yeah. Um, God, there's so many people. I don't know because it's not decided yet, right? Because we still we still got a few rounds to go. Yeah. Um, 
No, I, 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 uh, I want to face anyone I can beat. I like that one, um, and I'll, st- I'll stick with that choice. Someone not too hard. Um, if I can I'm, get someone who's sick like Doman, like, uh, that would be great as well. I'm, I'm um, sorry. So I'm sorry. Uh, hey, listen, I'm sorry, Jacoby. Um, uh, Tony's not in the ma- in the tournament, so... <laughs> he's not? Um, oh, no, that was my fail not, safe. So, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, those are great answers. You know what? Facing anybody the way you played today, uh, you know what? You're not somebody that should be slept on at all. You seem to have a real ethic about going out and studying and learning these movies like you proved today. Um, you played a great match, my friend. You played a great match, and you deserve to be moving on in this tournament. Um, and you know what? That's it from us. Jeremy, any final thoughts on the match? I just want to give a personal message to Jacoby. You know, this is singles, so uh, you did great. So, you know, <laughs> since it is singles, you don't need to have your partner weighing in on this or uh, uh, making brash comments or any of that. You can just be quiet, and uh, this is about you and not him. I'll just say that. But, no, seriously, though, uh, great match, that, like I said. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it was suspenseful. It, it, it kept going different ways, and it just all came down to the particular – questions that they got i think there was a lot of luck involved you know ryan spinning almost famous twice as it was a killer and it's just just the way that it goes sometimes and uh you know but great match and yeah we're gonna see where these guys goes next we're gonna see jacoby in the next match in the tournament i'm really excited absolutely and that's gonna be it for full metal trivia today it has been an absolute pleasure on behalf of all of us at full metal and my co-lead up here today Thank you guys so much. We couldn't do it without you. The fans are what make us do this. We love it. The players, we love all of you guys. Thank you guys for showing up at these late times, these times all over the place during the middle of the week. We appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Get yourself noticed on our page. Come into the league. Join our classic. If you like Geek, they got tryouts coming out soon. Uh, you Get a teammate. Get a team partner together. We got the teams league over here too. So on behalf of myself, Thank you ever so much for being here. We're moving on into the tournament. One more match left, guys, and we're out of round one. Thank you so much. My name is Sandy the Sandman Robinson. Have fun. Watch movies.